Hey guys, we're back at it with this A1, and today we're gonna finish talking about upgrades. So in my last video, I talked about this bucket. Um, I did say I wanna make this bucket out of PETG because I mostly use PLA when I am making stuff, especially with this open, you know, non-enclosed printer. I don't wanna use ABS because of the fumes. Um, I wanna make this out of PETG because I mostly print in PLA, and I was talking about that PLA can get stuck to it. Well, I pressed down on this blob here to see how you know, how stuck could I get? And I think I'm gonna have to take some clippers or just leave it as a reminder of my own stupidity. The next thing I did is I printed this deflector because I found that as the printer went up, this would deflect and shoot off any filament that was excess and not used. It would shoot off onto this table over here. Um, and so I made this deflector to go straight down. There are some other deflectors I kind of want to try. There's some that angle it, um, and so there's no chance of it bouncing back on the bed. I haven't had any issue of that yet where it bounced on the bed, but I might give it a try and test it out and tell you what I think. The next upgrade I did was this arm that holds the PTFE tubing. Um, it was rubbing right here when it was going back and forth. These clips right here were rubbing, and it was kind of causing some wear and I just thought, you know, why not just print this? So I found this arm and I just recycled some screws that came with the printer that locked the bed in place. Um, and now I have an arm and it goes up and down as the gantry needs with the PTFE tubing. Next, I printed off these wire clips to take strain off of the connection points because if this wire goes, I don't think that would be an easy repair or fix. So you can find these um, on Maker World, it's just a little spring, quick print, and you add it on. The next thing I made was this bed grip. Okay, so you don't have to touch your bed, you can just grip that. Um, I haven't noticed anything different with it. If anything, it's just more so an accessory to say, hey, that's the blue printer. Um, but it looks cool on it. The next thing I printed were these adapters for spools that I used that did not fit the A1 light. Not A1 light, sorry, AMS light. Um, this goes on Sunlu on these black spools right here. The gray ones seem to fit just fine, but the black ones, they need these adapters. And these are also on Maker World. Um, very nice, very easy to make. While we're talking about the AMS, I also made these dust covers right here. Um, they, I don't know if they do anything. They keep dust out, sure. They close up some openings um, and they kind of leave that enclosed. If anything, Again, it's just adding blue accent to say, hey, that's the blue printer. And the last thing I made so far is this AMS armor, this armored sock. Uh, if I look over here at this printer that I haven't made one for yet, this bends and moves. And people were saying online that that can cause additional wear and tear on the printer. And eventually it could break. And if it did, it could be, you know, money that I don't want to spend. So I took the time and I just printed this off. It took 15 minutes. It does add some rigidity to it. So that is no longer bending. So that's my A1 so far on this side. This is the blue printer. If you guys have any more upgrades, accessories, attachments to go on to this, let me know and I will gladly make it and build it. This over here is the gray printer right now. I don't really like the name the gray printer. Uh, I kind of want some different colors. I don't know what colors I should do. So if you have any suggestions for colors, I like the blue, it pops. What color do you think will pop over here on this A1? Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm Queso Builds.